is a lovely uh, 10 inch uh, 80 rpm, not 78 but 80 rpm uh, shellac record. The Sleeping Princess, a fairy story told by Bransby Williams. Bransby Williams came from East London, he came from Hackney, came from very humble stock and uh, he became a renowned uh, music hall performer and uh, the, he went right through the stages of recording for Wax Cylinder 78, uh, uh, vinyl record, uh, early television, early sort of 1950s television and uh, he also appeared in films and uh, was a remarkable actor. Never lost his uh, slight sort of cockney twang to his accent. The Sleeping Princess. Many, many years ago, so many years ago that I've forgotten how long, there lived a little boy named John who did not believe in fairies. Now, when the fairies heard of this, they said he was such a nice little chap that they wanted him to be their friend and believe in them. So one day, while walking in a wood, a bird in the trees began to call to him. The bird was really a fairy bird, and John heard him speak. Walk straight on to the magic castle, for you are to awaken the sleeping princess. He was surprised. He'd never heard a bird talk like that before. John loved adventure, and with the bird singing at his side, he walked on and came to the gates of a big castle. He could see nobody there, but near the gates hung a little horn with a sign which said, Blow me and enter the magic castle. He lifted the horn and blew. Suddenly the big gates rolled open and the little boy with a bird perched on his shoulder walked up the golden steps to the great door. By the door was a long rope and the fairy bird whispered that he must pull with all his strength. So he pulled and beautiful fairy bells began to chime. And then the door slowly opened and he found himself in a wonderful palace of white marble and shining glass. But stranger than all were the figures of many nobles and their ladies who lay fast asleep everywhere. Tweet, tweet, said the little bird. They're all sleeping and will not awake until the princess awakens also. On they went through wonderful rooms and up staircases laid with gold until they reached a fairy chamber in pink silk and soft satin. And there on a couch, John saw the lovely princess asleep. She had beautiful golden hair and was prettier than anyone he had ever seen. John stood gazing down, for he could not think she was real. Then the little bird whispered, Kiss her, and she would awaken. So he bent down and kissed the sleeping princess on the cheek. And immediately she opened her eyes and smiled. And as she did so, there came the sound of fairy bells and soldiers blowing their horns. And all the sleeping lords and ladies awoke too. Then the princess said, you have saved my life. A hundred years I've slept awaiting your coming. I love you very much. And John married the sleeping princess to the sound of fairy music. And of course, he always believed in fairies ever after.